Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back to show us more plunder that I've acquired over the last little while. I uh, got a couple really nice stacks of uh, 2022 releases to go through, so I'm going to cut this into two parts. Um, yeah, I'm not going to talk too much about most of these because some of these I've not had a chance to listen to, just busy with life and everything else. I don't always get to listen to stuff like I'd like to, but I try to keep up as best I can. And this first one, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm just going to guess it's Pilau, P-I-L-A-U. And uh, yeah, these guys are a uh, thrash metal band out of Maui, Hawaii. That is the first time I've ever heard of a band coming from Hawaii. Uh, yeah, debut demo put out by Head Split Records. And uh, yeah, this is some solid thrash metal, in my opinion. Definitely has that raw demo-ish kind of production to it, but uh, really good stuff. Definitely worth checking out. Next up, the, this one and the next two, actually, I bought while I was on vacation a couple months ago uh, from Walmart. Um, you know, Walmart doesn't really carry too many CDs anymore, and it's usually, you know, the best of, of pop stars or country bullshit that I don't care about. And uh, I saw these in there, and I was like, wow, I'm going to have to pick these up because I really want to check these out anyway. But yeah, this is Three Days Grace with Explosions. And of course, Three Days Grace, uh, their biggest hit uh, from their debut album, I Hate Everything About You, is the song that got me into this band. But they are a hard rock band from Norwood, Ontario, Canada. have been around since 1997. This is their seventh full-length album put out by RCA. And I have not had a chance to listen to this yet, but uh, I've really started to get into this band over the last couple of years. So I'm definitely looking forward to finally spinning it. This one I debated whether to get... But, um, you know, I listened to one song off of it, and I thought it sounded pretty decent. And I haven't listened to any, really any album from this band in many years. Their early stuff is still my favorite. But this is uh, Def Leppard with Diamond Star Halos. Of course, uh, Def Leppard, new wave of British heavy metal band. Now more of a hard rock band from Sheffield, England. Been around since 1977. This is their 12th full-length album. Put up by UME. And um, I listened to a little bit of this off of uh, YouTube, and it sounded okay, so I went ahead and picked it up. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a decent album. I I wouldn't say it's nothing groundbreaking or anything, and Joe Elliott's voice has definitely changed over the years. He sounds nothing like he used to, but uh, yeah, I dig it. Now, this one, I've been a fan of this band for many years. The last couple were a little eh, hit and miss with me, but I wanted to pick this up anyway because, like I said, even their kind of mess stuff is still pretty solid in the end. But this is Hailstorm with Back from the Dead. Of course, a hard rock band from Red Line, Pennsylvania. Been around since 1997. This is their fifth full length put out by Atlantic. I have not heard a single note off of this album, but I'm definitely looking forward to uh, checking it out. But you would definitely hear me say a lot in this video because there are, like I said, a lot of things I have not had a chance to listen to. Now, this one I have listened to a couple times, and it's really solid. This is the new Municipal Waste Electrified Brain. Excuse me. And, of course, uh, Municipal Waste, Thrash Metal, Crossover Band from Richmond, Virginia, been around since 2001. This is their seventh full-length album put out by Nuclear Blast. Uh, I did get the Long Box Edition, which I'm not going to worry about showing, because, like I said, I've got a lot to go through, uh, which was limited to 1,300 copies, and it just came with a square pin and a uh, sticker. But, yeah, the Waste does not disappoint. Uh, this band, I honestly think this is the first album, well, I don't want to say album because it's an EP that I've gotten into my collection, even though I've been a fan of this band from many, many years now. This is Metal Lucifer with Heavy Metal Ninja. Of course, a uh, heavy speed metal band out of Kuwana, Japan. Been around since 1995. This is their third EP overall, though they do have several full-length albums to their credit. Uh, this is put out by Horror, Pain, Gore, Death. I have heard one song off of I want to say... It was the lead-off track, Born to Play Heavy Metal. I forget which one it was that they put out as the single. And, of course, I just had to pick this up because, like I said, I've been a fan of Metal Lucifer for a long time. Really good stuff. Uh, the next three I got from Amazon. I made an order for these, and I actually got another personal CD player kind of as a backup for the one that I use most often. And I uh, decided to christen it with these three releases. Uh, first up. 
is severe torture with fisting the sockets. Of course, severe torture, legendary death metal band out of the Netherlands, been around since 1997. This is their second EP overall, though they do have uh, several full lengths to their credit, and these guys are pretty much always consistent, in my opinion. Uh, this was put out by Season of Mist, and this is just solid death metal done the Dutch way. Um, like I said, these guys are a really consistent band. Go check that one out. This one I actually saw on Amazon, and I was kind of a blind buy, and uh, turned out to be a pretty good buy for me. This is Corrosive with Death as a Process. And yeah, these guys are a, a death metal band from Marburg, Germany. Been around since 1995. This is their fifth full-length album overall put out by Black Sunset. And uh, yeah, pretty good death metal. Um, I've listened to it a couple times. It's been a while since I've listened to it. Uh, but yeah, I remember th thinking it was pretty decent. Like I said, for a blind buy, can't beat it. This one, oh, this one. This is a uh, Vomit Forth with Seething Malevolence. Brutal death metal band from uh, Connecticut. I'm uh, not sure exactly how long they have been around, but this is their debut full-length album out on Century Media. And I was really excited for this release. I've been a fan of them uh, since I discovered them. I actually did a review of uh, one of their, I think it was a promo uh, a while back. And uh, when I heard they signed to Century Media, I was really excited for this. And um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. This is kind of a disappointment for me. Um, I mean, there's some good stuff on here. Don't get me wrong. The vocals are sick. There's some pretty good riffs to be found on here. But the production on this is not that good. I have actually talked with uh, Jam and John and Necrotic Nick at Thralls and Metal when we uh, met up at Hell, um, <laughs> Heavy Hell 3, excuse me. And we all agree that, you know, the production on here is just not that good. It's too bassy, which, you know me, I like bass, but the bass on here is it, it's mixed wrong. There's just, it's, I've actually had several other people I've showed this to, and they agree that the bass is way out of whack. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of disappointing that they released it like this. You would think the band would be like, hey, that doesn't sound right. We need to fix this. But it could be one of those things. And I think me and the Thralls kind of agreed on this. That it's probably one of those, you know, the label wants to get it put out. They're in a crunch, so they want to get it put out. So let's just put it out. So, yeah. Um, like I said, there's some good stuff on here, but definitely a disappointment for me. Hopefully, by the time they get around to the uh, next full-length album, uh, they will get that uh, squared away. But, yeah, as far as the debut goes, I'm left a little disappointed. Next up, I've seen this one, like, everywhere on distros and that and on facebook ads and i finally just picked it up this is blasphemous creation with beyond the grave and yeah these guys are a uh, blackened death metal thrash band out of reno nevada been around since 2006 this is their third ep overall put up by horror pain gore death uh pretty decent stuff i gotta say like i said i've been seeing this like, it seemed like everywhere, and I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to pick it up, and I'm really glad I did. I definitely want to check out more from this band. Oh, this one, when it was announced, I couldn't get the pre-order ordered, you know, fast enough. Uh, this is Shuriken Cadaveric Entwinement with Constructing the Cataclysm. Death metal band from... Uh, Gastonia, North Carolina. Sorry about the glare there. Been around since 2006. This is their third full-length album. Uh, put out by Comatose Music. And uh, yeah, this is just some excellent, excellent death metal. I have enjoyed pretty much everything this band has put out so far. So definitely go check those dudes out. Next up, R.I.P. with Still Resting. Death Metal out of Cologne, Germany. Not exactly sure how long they have been around, but this is their second EP put out by Life After Death, limited to 300 copies. Uh, I actually listened to the uh, cassette version of this that I got from Sean over at Wise Blood Records when I saw him at uh, Heavy Hell 3 and uh, really saw his stuff. I uh, definitely want to get some more from this band. Next up, Morgued with Terror Formed. Death Metal out of Boston, Massachusetts. Been around since 2019. This is their debut EP put up by Life After Death. Um, this is one of those ones that I have not had a chance to check out. I did listen to like a song or two off of Bandcamp. Really dug it, so of course had to pick up a copy of it. 
Now this one I've listened to a couple different times and man, this thing kicks ass. This is sadistic drive with perpetual torture. And yeah, these guys are a death metal band out of Finland. Been around since 2018. This is their second full length album put out by Head Split Records. And uh, yeah, Head Split knows it's death metal. Put out this. Ah, oh, so damn good. Go check it out if you have not already. Next up, Sequestrum with the epitome of putridity. Yeah, death metal band from Denmark. Been around since just last year in 2021. This is their debut demo put up by Extremely Rotten Productions. And this thing is just nasty, filthy death metal. Really sick stuff. Definitely one of the uh, best that I have heard so far this year. Uh, if you love filthy death metal, go check these dudes out. And the last one for this little pile, Blackwater Drowning with Sunder Satori. To make sure I said that right. And yeah, these guys are a uh, melodic death metal band from Salzburg, uh, North Carolina. Been around since 2014. This is their debut full-length album put up by Blood Blast Distribution. And uh, I actually discovered this band thanks to uh, casket robbery vocalist uh, Megan Orvold Scheider on uh, Facebook. She made a post about this band, and I checked them out. I was like, holy shit, I have got to get a copy of that. And I uh, got one. Really dig this. Um, if you love... A um, lot of death metal with, you know, female uh, vocals and, uh, yeah, just a lot of death metal in period. Go check out Blackwater Drowning. And, yeah, that is going to do it for this part. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.